This question is from the topic differentiation. Here, an equation has been given as y is equal to x minus 5 times square root of 2x plus 5. We have to find the dy over dx and we have to show that it can be written in the form of kx divided by square root of 2x plus 5 and by doing so we have to state the value of k. So let's begin by writing the equation first. The equation is y is equals to x minus 5 uh, times square root of 2x plus 5. This can be written as y is equal to x minus 5 times 2x plus 5 whole to the power half. Why could we write like this? Let's say we have a term square root of a. This term can be written as a to the power half. That's why we could write like this. So now if you clo look closely, this x minus 5 and 2x plus 5 whole to the power half are in product form. Therefore, we have to use the product rule of differentiation in order to differentiate them. But what is the product rule of differentiation? Let's uh, learn it in brief. Let's say we have a term u multiplied by another term v. Then the, if we differentiate this product form, we will get, we will get uh, u times u times d, d, d over dx of v plus v times d over dx of u. So we are going to use this product rule in our original map. Let's our uh, x minus 5 be our u and 2x plus 5 whole to the power half it, sh it let be let it be our v. So applying the product rule here we can write our dy over dx is equals to x minus 5 times d over dx of uh, 2x plus 5 whole to the power half plus 2x plus 5 whole to the power half times d over dx of x minus 5. So in the next line we can write that our dy over dx is equal to x minus 5 times what will be the differentiation of 2x plus 5 whole to the power half. Let's say we have a term as x to the power n. Okay, if we differentiate this with respect to x, then differentiation of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1. This is the very basic differentiation rule. Applying this rule, we can write uh, our n is half, so half times 2x plus 5 whole to the power half minus 1. Then multiplied by d over dx of 2x plus 5. We wrote this due to chain rule. I will come back to this. Okay, then plus uh, 2x plus 5 whole to the power half uh, times 1. 1 because differentiation of x is 1 and differentiation of minus 5 is 0. Now, as, uh, as I told, why did I write this line? D over why did I multiply this d over dx of 2x plus 5? I did it because of the chain rule. So let's learn the chain rule here. Let's see how chain rule works. So uh, let's learn the chain rule in brief here. Chain rule. Uh, let's say that we have a term like uh, ax plus b whole to the power n. Then if we differentiate this term with respect to x, we will get n times ax plus b whole to the power n minus 1 times d over dx of ax plus b. We just use that chain rule in our original math. Now let's get back to the original math. We can write dy over dx is equal to x minus 5 times half times 2x plus 5 whole to the power half minus 1 is minus half uh, then times 
2 as d over dx of 2x plus 5 is 2. So plus 2x plus 5 whole to the power half. Okay, so uh, this 2 cancel out this 2. Now we have a bit simplified for version of this dy over dx as x minus 5 times 2x plus 5 whole to the power minor, minus half plus 2x plus 5 whole to the power half. But we need to express this expression in the form of kx divided by square root of 2x plus 5. Therefore, we need to do a little bit of simplification to get this form okay let me scroll down the page a bit so that we can write our rest of the work okay now uh, let's write dy over dx it will be equal to before writing this line let's think here we have 2x plus 5 whole to the power minus half and the second term we have 2x plus 5 whole to the power positive half okay so if we take out the common factor which is 2x plus 5 whole to the power minus half then from the first term we get x minus 5 and from the second term we get 2x plus 5 okay so in the next line we can write dy over dx as of 1 over 2x plus 5 whole to the power positive half uh, let me write the one in the numerator okay and in inside the square bracket it will be x minus 5 plus 2x plus 5 this plus 5 cancel out the negative 5 so finally we get our desired form of dy by dx as 3x times square root of 2x plus 5 hence by comparing the form we can say that the value of k is 3 so we have completed the first part of this question now let's move on to the second part of this question here the equation remains the same that is y is equal to x minus 5 times square root of 2x plus 5 and we have to use the dy over dx that we got in the first part of the question which was 3x divided by square root of 2x plus 5 okay now let's read the question first here we have to find the approximate change in y as x decreases from 10 to 10 minus p where p is small so in math mathematically if you write we have to find del y when uh, x decreases from 10 to 10 minus p okay now let's try to find the del x first that is change of x with with 10 minus p which is the new value of x minus 10 which is the old value of x gives us minus p which is the change of x okay we know that d del y over del x is equivalent to uh, equivalent to dy over dx for very small change of x if we multiply del x with the both side of the equation then we in the next line uh, we can write del y is equivalent to uh, dy over dx dy over dx times del x now in the next line let's write the expression for the dy over dx that is 3x divided by square root of 2x plus 5 times uh, times del x del x let's put it inside the bracket okay now uh, we, we have to use the old value of x that is x equals to 10 so in the next line del y is equal to using the value of x is equals to 10 we get 3 times 10 divided by divided by square root of 2 times 10 plus 5 times del x which was minus p 
so that gives us that gives us del y is equal to del y is equals to minus 30 p in our numerator we will have minus 30 p in our numerator so let's write and our denominator square root of 25 is 5 so 30 divided by 5 is 6 so del y is minus 6 p so del y is minus 6 p so we have completed the second part of this question now let's move on to the third and last part of this question now for the final part of this question we have to find the rate of change of x that is dx over dt uh, when when the value of x is equal to 10 and it's also stated that y is changing at a rate of 3 units per second that means dy over dt is 3 units per second so let's begin we know that dy over dt or uh, dy over dt can be written in the form of dy over dx times uh, dx over dt uh, so we have to find this dx over dt let's write our dy over dx that we got from the first part of the math dy over dx is uh, 3x divided by square root of 2x plus 5 so when x equals to 10 when x equals to 10 our dy over d, d, dx is equal to 30 uh, divided by square root of 25 is 5. So let's write 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So dy over dx is 6 when x is equal to 10. Now substitute all the values that we have in our hand. We know that uh, dy by dt, dy over dt is 3. So let's write 3 is equal to dy over dx is 6 times dx by dt now let's rearrange this equation so that we can write uh, dx over dt is equals to 3 over 6 which is 0 0.5 units of uh, units per second units per second so we have found the rate of change of x uh, at x equals to 10 as 0 0.5 units per second so we have completed our question now let's move on to the next question